Hi, welcome back. I'm the Emerald Range. This is the last part of the Sunda one. Sunda launch, okay, slash trying to play Sunda while talking about history. Uh, last we left off, we were talking about um, the Balai. But some things have happened since. And for mostly, I just got industrialization. Looks like I have coal, which is great. Um, let's get my work there. there. Um. I've realized that if I wasn't so stupid and remembered that Mount Kailash was right there, I could have gotten a pretty good religion game. Uh, Inca just converted these. They have shit tons of profits going around, and I've already denounced them, of course. Now I'm also stealing a bunch of stuff from them. They're trying to steal stuff from me, so um, putting my stuff here. Uh, the other issue is that they just um, made. And they just embargoed city state, so I can't do my trade routes anymore. So I'm not getting as much of my growth from them. But I guess at this point, it's not that important to get 10 food a turn for free. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Let's choose. Um, I'm gonna make some of my allies more happy instead of letting Inca do anything. Um, yeah, so the Belai, we can talk about that in a bit, but for starters, I want to talk about some of the progress that I've made in this, in this game. So I am going for a cultural victory. Um, I got Ufizi, Ooh. and um, I have the bonus from Ufizi. That's puts me at 13, which is getting close to the AI. I'm not nearly close to anybody, uh, but if you look at somewhere else, I'm also kind of a, not the best in terms of amount of culture I have, but I am falling because I'm suddenly getting a lot more culture going. Um, the most important part of this is that there's a lot of synergy because this Balai makes, gives you a bunch of We Love the King days. And that means you don't have to deal with Wheel of the King Day things much, and you just have to get some great persons going. Um, I'm trying to convert some of these city-states back just so I can get some more gold, but Inca is trying to make my life hard. I also have a lot of new things, which is including I have a pretty good amount of uh, promotions from these guys. And I also have a good amount of gold going, which is good. Mostly because of my gold reserves over here. Um, but that means I can ally some city-states. I just also lost their alliance by when Inkia converted them. Apparently, probably they had a quest or something. Or maybe... Oh no, I just fell below 60 or something. Let's... Alright. We should also uh, get a careful sometime and go find some things. So I'm kind of in between these two and I think I'm gonna, I already have some science going. So um, let's see, I'm getting faster in science, but I still need to keep up with science. So I'm gonna go to rationalism over aesthetics because aesthetics is only, it's not the strongest thing in the world. Uh, Petra has been really nice to me. That means that I can finally get a bunch of stuff. Oh, wow. I mean, why not? Uh, let's get electricity. So, yeah, I'm going to use the Oxford. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what, Mr. Mr. Inca? Is this your ally? Alright. So fuck that. Where's my You can cheat as Jackie Fuck you. Go away. Die. Okay. Let it out of the system. <laughs> Let's get a public school and then we can do the last four turns for the um, 
for the um, what is it for the for the Oxford University? Yeah, I had a I have a unit over here. There's nothing I can do to get it back because he won't give me open borders easily. So this isn't actually the worst in the world because, um, oh nice, thank you Alexander, I wanna, okay maybe now you'll give me open borders. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, as you can see, this is kind of strong, this is pretty strong, but that does mean you have to have a long period of setup. Like, we're already in the industrial area. This is for a classical era unit. I have not used it at all. If I was using it for wars, then it makes it difficult. So it just gives you a pretty strong defense. So I think I'm gonna get, um, so we'll get shock. Open here. Oh, hello, idiot. Paris is there. Night. Okay. All right, and now we get to hear the Sunda War theme, which is Jai Pongan. Uh, Jai Pongan is a unique genre of gamelan to. Oh. Sure, Alexander. Okay. Uh, Jai Pongan is a unique genre to Sunda. Uh, Jai, it is kind of it has a strong drum beat thing going, and a bit of a. Da, 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 kind of uh, pat, uh, rhythm pattern. And now we can get a bunch of cool stuff. Let's get a Crawfit and try to convert Babylon and Valletta. And these two. So, uh, what else? Okay, so the Balai. The Balai is actually a vague term because it has changed in meaning throughout the years. Uh, it is, originally it meant an uh, untouched area. So it meant like an uh, unimproved forest or something. And usually these were hills. Where is Zurich? Yeah, so that's unfortunate, I guess. How did you do that? Oh well. So, Bolai is a sacred spot, basically. That's initially what it meant. But it is not always that. It has become more of a meaning as a place where people gather, so like a communal gathering area. And. Like, yeah, <laughs> there's not too much more to it. Um, Sunda is a sieve that I was interested in and had a design for it going. And I had the general idea of the of a, of a sieve based on growth, gold, and things like that, and prosperity. And the We Love the King Day was actually a later edition, which is why it might seem a little out of place. Or like the synergy's not out of place. The, I think the overall design is still pretty good. It's just it doesn't match exactly with the history. No, why would the fuck would I give you anything?
E o cantime mano. So, yes, we have gotten quite a few wonders well, in this game. Uh, I think this needs to turn into a great people focus. But uh, we have gone Uhisi, Petra, and the other one is actually not here, it's actually in Sangala. Because we got a great engineer from the um, from one of the one of the, one of the wonders we already had, I forgot, and we rushed Leaning Tower Pisa for that. And from there we got a scientist and we have some scientists going around. Oh yeah, that's why they're not gaining experience. I moved them to try and block the block the uh, stuff going around. Well, we're about to get. Oh fuck! I I messed up. I messed up, and I I should have been building the Oxford University. Yeah, well, I mean, Inti is useful because it's giving me a bunch of culture, but I want to get my religion back. Keep it around. We're gonna be able to do that very soon. Next turn. Nice. We also have aluminum. So that's useful for our scientific creatures. Yeah, so even when you get a great profit, if you purchase it and it's not from the the initial ones, then you get the bonus as well. Because the initial ones is a separate mechanism for spawning a new thing, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we have a pretty long We Love the King Day, and it just pre it is pretty good because um, we have a stronger one too, and it kind of just makes gives us a bunch of bonuses the entire time as long as we keep that up. So we want to convert one, two, three, four. So let's start from Valletta. And we're gonna go back to aesthetics a bit. Cause I think we are, no, we are not on par at all for, wow. Um, we, okay. Uh, maybe cause we've been beelining shit, but uh, hopefully it gets back to that. Yeah, so. Sunda is basically, I think a Sunda gameplay divides into two. There's the first part where you're trying to get the growth going with your unique ability, and then once you get to theology, you're just trying to get more great people. Um, you can use it. It's a pretty good um, for. It's pretty good for a science civ too. It's not just uh, about the culture because you, the growth is good regardless of anything, honestly. But. It also it specifically helps science if you can get very big cities. Like if you have a good spot, it just makes it better because the focus is on growth and not really on food, I would say. Um, yeah, I guess. And one more turn until we get radio. And we're gonna go for freedom because we are super tall right now. We don't have a fourth city because it wasn't too good of a spot to warrant it. And let's choose radio. We are now in the modern era. And let's go steal some tech from uh, Mr. Babylon over here. Well, 
I'm... Inca Runakunaka. What? Oh, why did I click that? I should not have clicked into that. Oh well. Yeah, I used to have a thing to Brussels, but I guess I got embargoed to hell for no reason. I want to unembargo that, but I am not really the strong player here. Work. Yay, we got another scientist. I think at this point it's still worth plopping them down. So I'm gonna plop them down here instead of that um, tile. And that's a freedom. Alright, and we can get to the hospitals and stuff soon. So let's get to. Let's get off and guard. And let's get specialists only. Let's see how it's pretty synergetic with the rest of our abilities. Yeah. Well, um, trying to think of other things that I might need to talk about in terms of Cinda. Uh, I don't think there's too much left, honestly, because it is not that diff not that complicated. I did rush through it a little bit more than I normally do, but even then, I think I was spending more time than the typical person on the research phase because I am a little bit paranoid about how accurate the information is or how representative it, it is, more more so than accuracy. And I hope that this has been useful because Prabhu Silawangi is not a semi is not a historical figure, but I think it's the most uh, the is the Sunda king to use. So uh, even though it's not historical, I think it makes more sense for representation wise. Um, Representing the Sundanese as a very strong, like, prosperous country is probably the best way that I went about this. And I kind of did a bit more, I went a bit more generic on the uniques because there's a bunch of other things I could have done that were more specific, but it didn't really make sense in terms of a blob Sundanese sip. So there's things like uh, Gunung Gunung or something. I cannot remember exactly how to, what it was, but it's a sacred mound that uh, uh, Sri Bada Maharaja made, which is who is one of the kings that could be Siliwangi. Uh, but these are just basically Inca sacred Runa mounds Runaka. like Balai. They're just different forms of Balai across the ages. So that's why I decided to go for that instead of other things. No, we don't really. Unfortunate. I could do it and just get a bunch of free stuff, but not yet. Yeah, so, well, we're free, we're freedom, <laughs> we're free, and I will see you in a bit. After, to, after this, I think I'm gonna go and play through all of the monsoon sips, or maybe just narrate an AI game and see what's going on as we go through it. But until then, I'll see you next time. This is Emma Range, and I just played uh, Sip 5. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just a modder who plays Sip 5 as well. <laughs>